another one. <laughs> oh yes, heavens, they're everywhere. Um, we are on our way to Padstow, where we have never been before, I don't know. Have you been to Padstow? Is that in the Netherlands? No. Have oh. you been to Padstow? Well, probably yes, but I cannot remember having been to Padstow. You must have had a good time then, if you can't remember it. No, it's probably seven. <laughs> 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 Padstow is in Cornwall, for those who don't know. We are um, going for two nights. Rick Stein, the celebrity chef. They call it Pad Stein, actually, don't they? He's invited us down. He's uh, invited us down to Cornwall. <laughs> we are going to stay in his seafood restaurant, which has rooms. Um, and spend two nights there. And we're eating in the seafood restaurant one night and one of his other restaurants in Padstow the other night. Looking forward to it. I bought it for Ashley the package as a Christmas present. So because he very much likes Rick Stein. Whenever you watch, you are always watching Rick Stein on telly, aren't you? Yes. Particularly like the Spanish one, don't you? When Rick Stein goes to Spain. Sound like Mr. Ben goes to Spain. Rick Stein goes to Spain. <laughs> Rick Stein's Spain. Rick Stein's Spain. I think it's called. Anyway, I digress. Um, We've got 29.9 miles to go. We're already on the little country roads that Cornwall is so joyously famous for. And um, yeah, we'll catch up when we get there. Well, it's not very nice weather in Padstow. It's standard weather. Well, yes, it is January, so it wasn't, well, wasn't really expecting the best weather. Not done much for my hair. <laughs> You're photographing your first pint after dry oh, January. We have arrived in Padstow and we are at the pub. It is raining still. Not very nice at all. It's that really fine rain that makes you really. It, it doesn't feel like it's much in the way of water, but there's a lot of water coming down. Do you know what I mean? That fine rain. Very wet. Anyway, we've wandered around the harbour. Our room isn't ready yet at the restaurant, so. Uh... I've had to take the sound out of this bit because there's really loud background music and I don't want to get copyrighted by YouTube but I was basically telling you that uh, we were having our first drinks after dry January, Ashley more so than me because I had a couple of days off in dry January. Um, but I was having a rhubarb and ginger gin I think it was um, with tonic and Ashley was having his first pint for 24 days so um, he was very much looking forward to starting that. Right, back to some more footage with some proper sound. We're just having a little walk around and we found this parking space that says parking for seagulls only, which seemed a bit much. Then we realised that the house is called Seagulls, so it makes perfect sense. The weather is still a bit grim, but we're having lunch. Mussels, burrito, hadron peppers. Yeah. Lovely. That looks delicious. So here is Padstow. It's actually still raining enough for me to actually be able to film and you can see the other side of the harbour now. But it's still not particularly nice in weather wise, but it's a lovely little village, town, I don't know quite what you call it, but I have to say wouldn't want to come in the height of the season. I bet it's really, really busy. But we just had a very nice lunch in this pub here, the court Custom House. Custom House. Nice, wasn't it? It was very nice. The tip is, don't go start a main course dessert. Just we went, we went nibbles, one starter and a cheese board and yes. things like that. It, it was worked good. really well. Very tasty. There's loads of dogs here as well. If you're a dog person, there's loads of people walking their dogs all in a selection of very smart outfits. Yeah, don't bring your dog unless it's got a smart outfit. Just checked into our room. God, I look very windblown. I'm going to have to sort my hair out before this evening. And look at how lovely it is. This is the bathroom. Freestanding bath there. And it's all quite dark. And marble and a glass sink there. And this is Jill Stein's toiletries. I was um, messaging with a friend last night who told me about the Jill Stein toiletries, um, which I haven't tried yet, but I love the packaging. They look fabulous. Um, and we've got toilet there. Love the tiles. Shower cubicle here. Heated tower. Really nice, spacious bathroom. 
Lovely, and then that's like a mural on that wall. And then into the room, it's some um, sort of gallery, not gallery, that's the wrong thing to say. What, what, what's the, Ashley? No, you're gonna jump out of the cupboard, aren't you? Uh... <laughs> Hilarious, yes. What's this called when it's all open to the booze? I said gallery, but it's not. Uh, you should know that you're an estate agent. <laughs> I should, yeah, I should know that, but yeah, uh, he doesn't. Anyway, um, lovely big mirror here with the wooden surround, TV, chest of drawers, little sofa, and that one. We're staying at the seafood restaurant, and the room the room we booked was it's called Gemrus that was the size. Then we've got this little outside bit here, which is lovely. I mean, obviously it's January, we won't be using it, but how nice is that? Sorry, that's actually doing the thing. So pretty, the little table and chairs and. Oh, stop squeaking. <laughs> and the plants and everything. It's just a lovely little terrace. Terrace balcony. I'm sure you don't get much sun on it because it's, so that, that's the roof terracey bit sort of up here. But just lovely. It just looks so nice. You don't even need to use it. And then you've got a um, sofa here, bed here, sort of four postery type of bed, bedside tables. Just lovely. Such a nice room. It is. Oh my God, we'll have to bear with the lighting in this room. It's not going to get any better wherever I go. <laughs> it is six o'clock-ish, half past six, as she's in the bath. I've just got ready for the evening. I just thought I'd do you a quick outfit of the evening. We are going to St. Petrock's Bistro this evening, which is about 100 yards up the road. Hoping it stopped raining, but never mind. Straighten my hair again to um, get rid of all that rainy kinks that... Just, does anybody use anything for their hair? Like a serum or something to patch down all those flyaway hairs. I find them a real problem. Anyway, I, that's another story, isn't it? Um, this is this evening's outfit. I've got, it's all old, so I won't be able to link anything. I've got this top on, sparkly purple star top from Yours Clothing, it's got a batwing sleeve, I've had it for years and years and years and years, as I have these um, black wide leg sort of little bit satiny trousers, um, they're from Evans again, super super old, had them for years, because we're going out walking and because I've got a bad back, I've got my very sensible low heeled Clark's boots on, which were six pounds from a charity shop, which I've shown you many times, and are on their last legs. Um, jewellery wise I have on turn it back around, a necklace from Ana Luisa, earrings, I can't remember where these are from, maybe AliExpress, got them in silver as well, they're very pretty and delicate, absolutely hopeless for mask wearing but as the mask mandate is over today, not that you had to wear them in restaurants anyway, but um, I thought I would bring these earrings out because I haven't worn them for ages. Um, and then again, a ring from Anna Louisa. I don't know if you can see that. Let me turn you around again. That crossover ring, that's not focusing at all. Um, I will take you with us. I'll show you what we have to eat. And I'm hoping that tomorrow the weather's going to be a little nicer so I can show you a little bit of Padstow out and about. Do you love a Starters on. I've got the fish soup with the ruby and the parmesan and the croutons. Now she's got kidneys. Devil, devil kidneys? Mm. Devil kidneys. And sourdough and mushrooms are very nice. Mm. It's time for dessert. We have a walnut tart with creme fraiche and a panna cotta um, with pistachio crumb, I think. Mm. And we are going to share them both. Is that right? Well, but I'm mainly having a panna cotta. <laughs> okay. Mm. It's the kipper you need to kipper. be, it's the star. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. Look at this lovely little courtyard we've just found. We haven't just found it, we just walked past it. We discovered it. No one's ever been here before. <laughs> no one's ever been here before. It's uncharted territory. <laughs> so pretty though, isn't it? 
how to make the most of a nice little space. Very pretty. I don't know who that strange bloke is there. I assume that goes up to terraces for the rooms upstairs, but yeah, really pretty. Good morning from a slightly better weather, Padstow. Oh, we had such a nice evening, such a good sleep, and such a lovely breakfast. I filmed some bits of it, which I will perhaps pop in here, breakfast bits, but um, this is where we're staying. That's the building. And it's lovely, I have to say, really, really nice. I've just had breakfast in the restaurant in there. That's a big hotel. Very austere and Victorian that, isn't it? Um, and it's very much a working harbour. Lots of fishing boats. And I don't know where Ashley's gone. Oh, he's gone over there. I was just going to show you this bit. Looks very grey through the camera. It's actually not quite as grey as it looks. Um, and you can see over to, I think it's rock in that direction, isn't it, somewhere? Probably can't see it that well at the moment. But um, over to the other side of the estuary. And over in that direction, past all the cars, is Padstow Harbour, which we will walk around a bit later. It's due not to rain until this evening. So hopefully I'll be able to show you a bit of Padstow later. This morning we're going to drive to Wade Bridge on the basis that I've discovered there are charity shops there and there's not really enough in Padstow to spend a whole day here in this weather so we thought we'd explore a little bit further afield and um, go and see what delights Wade Bridge has to offer. Oh, there's a little gap there that I can show you across the estuary. I'll just zoom in a little bit. There we are. I bet that looks lovely in the summer. It looks pretty nice now, but I bet it looks even. I'll film them and somebody on my vlog will tell us in my comments what they are, I expect. Mm -hmm. Ashley's seen some birds that he thought was a kitty wake, but it wasn't. It's another one coming here. What are these types of birds, please? Somebody tell us. Just wandering around the back streets of Wadebridge. It's a nice little town actually, lots of independent shops, which is always nice to say. I love these little cottages, look at how lovely they are. So sweet. I'm in a lovely little gifty shop, I'm not sure what it's called, I'll show you when I go outside, but I've just fallen in love with these letter mugs, they're so lovely. But they haven't got a C in the big, they've got a C in the littler size, but they haven't got a C in the big size, which is a shame, because they're fab. That's the outside of the shop. I was just in Coast and Country, Wadebridge. No, you're all right. Ashley's being very indulgent of my vlogging. I just failed to get my camera out quickly enough to film the drive down the hill into Padstow, which has lovely estuary views, which we didn't see yesterday because it was foggy and vile. And um, I've just made him go back up the hill. I didn't make him, actually. I asked him. He very kindly said yes go back up the hill so I can film going down the hill so you can see how nice I was going to be horribly and painfully murdered if I didn't go back yeah, up the hill but it's absolutely my choice <laughs> it was you're so kind up on the hill act surprised yeah Gosh! Gosh! What an amazing view! We can't actually see it yet. So yes, you can over there a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Look at how lovely that is. <laughs> that it really is actually a beautiful view. Look at that. Stunning. Apart from the big digger down there. Don't be diggerist. <laughs> This big building here, you know, this end of it is Rick Stein's cookery stool. Sco stool. <laughs> cookery school. Oh, Rick Stein's stool. <laughs> well, everything in, everything in Padstow belongs to Rick Stein. <laughs> we are back in Padstow now. It's rainy again in the air. Not doing my hair any good at all, but look at all these little streets. There's so many of these little, cute, narrow streets, which is lovely. 
lots of pasty shops as well. Lots of pasty shops. <laughs> Stumbling out of bed and I still got you in my head From all those pretty words you said It's like I'm wasted Every time I see your face I'm losing track of time and space I don't know where I am It's like I'm wasted and I won't waste it And I promise that I I will stand by you forever I can't get you out of my mind I will follow you wherever And I won't waste it I don't want to slow this down My heart is screaming out your name I'm wasted on you Here we are right underneath the stars So let's get a little reckless You make me breathless And I won't waste this And I promise that I light again outfit of the evening for our second and final evening here honestly we've had such a nice time really enjoyed it um bought myself two new jumpers today both exactly the same in a half price sale in a little boutique here in Padstow this it's a very Caroline jumper beige pockets little tassels what's not to like I got one in a tan colour as well um, got um, the jumper, obviously. Feeling a little bit warm. I don't know if it's going to be too warm. I hope not. Um, then I've got my faux leather jeggings from New Look last year. And little tiny boots that I'm sure I've shown you before. Master Spencer's little kitten heels or shoe boot type things. Super comfortable. And um, that's this evening's outfit. Jewelry wise. Don't even put any earrings on yet. I'm going to wear these. Ashley, can you stop blowing, blowing into a bottle? I'm going to put on these little heart earrings from New Look. And then I've got the two Kate Spade, oh, Kate Spade bracelets on, which I've shown you lots of times before. And the same Ana Luisa Diamante crossover ring from yesterday. And now I'm going to turn the light of the camera off because the light is horrible. Well, good morning. About a week and a half later, I just realised that um, I sat down to edit this video very belatedly. And I've just realised that I never said goodbye or did any sort of outro. I just left you hanging. So I just wanted to do a little wrapping up piece here. Um, we had a lovely time in Padstow, really liked it. I would definitely go back there. I don't think I'd go back there in the summer. I think it would be too busy and parking would be a nightmare. But I'd love to go back again in the winter. I think it would be super nice. We really enjoyed it. Um, it was a nice little town. The pubs were nice. The shops were nice. It was nice to wander around. Um, we loved where we stayed at Rick Stein's. Really liked the room. Um, the restaurants we went to were both really lovely. Um, so yeah, I would highly recommend. Um, they did a special offer break for two nights, um, which I'm on their mailing list, uh, the Rick Stein's mailing list, and um, they, they just emailed out that they were doing this special offer um, sometime in November, I guess, to fill it up in the winter. So um, I think the prices go up quite steeply in the summer, so it's worth waiting to see if they're doing any of these two-night breaks. And our break included the... Um, this is not in any way sponsored, by the way. I wish it was. If you want to sponsor me, Rick, I'm here. <laughs> no, but um, our break included um, the two nights accommodation, breakfast both mornings, and two dinners in the two different restaurants. So it was really nice to be able to get the dinner included in on both 
in the two different restaurants you know to try the two different venues also you didn't have to the dinner that was included was anything off the a la carte menu it wasn't um a limited menu of any kind because sometimes with these offers they are aren't they anyway i hope you enjoy spending a bit of time with us in padstow and thank you very much for watching i will see you in the next one bye bye